20 years ago, Toontown was born, and then 10 years later, it died. Well, that is until... Luckily though, this guy existed. There were a lot of other people who helped contribute to the revival of Toontown in the modern day, but mostly everyone just kind of remembers this guy. In the early days of Toontown private servers, they were all trying to outlast each other like the Hunger Games. After almost 10 years since the original shutdown, many have come and gone, but two major ones still remain. Okay, well actually it's a bit more than two, but pretend we have a sign that says you need this many players to become a Toontown server. In many ways, these two servers are alike, and in many ways they're very different. But both of them have one main thing in common, they're both better than that pile of garbage. You're just like me. Trash! On one hand, we have a tunely sculpted work of art that cleans up all of the edges of the original, and then beautifully built on top of it to make a better experience that can stand the test of time. They have a couple of new animal species debuting in the game to add some variety, and a new boss experience to add some challenge to veteran players. And then we have this other team that just tore Toontown down to its bare bones and went, okay, what is physically possible to do in this game? So now they got this attack that goes zap, and this cog that goes rah, cha 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 and like eight new animals, and they're all like, it's insane, bro. Sure, the updates are slow and steady for most of these projects, but there are updates. That's a lot to be said for dozens of volunteers working on a game built off of code originally made from a Disney game. I mean, literally pick any Disney game. And these updates are far superior to anything the original game had to offer. When the private service first emerged, there was hope that showing how strong the community was would entice Disney to bring back the old game. But at this point, we don't even want the old one back. What we have is better than ever. But I think the big pull away from all of this is how connected and alive this community still is years after the original game shut down. Any other online gaming community might have given up and moved on after the developers tanked the game, but not this community. All the way through the year 2022, we've seen this community continue to flourish. Content creators have continued to find new innovative ways to showcase the game, as much as the developers have found new ways to enhance the player experience. <laughs> There's never an end to the beautiful and imaginative art that inspires people to hone their craft through their favorite characters, and even musical renditions and parodies. We just wanna play too, no, 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 no. And they're quite good. I can't say for sure how long Toontown as a whole will continue to stick around, but it looks to be still strong as ever running into 2023. This year marks the year where the original Toontown will have been shut down for as long as it was initially up, and drawing comparison from what we had to what we have, I'd say this community definitely made a better use of that time. So what's on the docket for this year? Well, it's really hard to say since nobody really has any idea what projects are currently at hand, but I do want to say it's a real joy and treat to be part of this community, and it's still going strong to this day. I'm a duck!